thanks for saving my adventure. All right, well, that was Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky. Just like back in 2018, we have completed another playthrough of this game. However, unlike 2018, where that was the end of the playthrough there, I'm fairly certain, as we just did the, uh, did the final boss of the main game and we called it there, unlike back then, I'm actually going to be doing more stuff, luckily. The adventure continues, the main story is done, the main freaking super heartwarming and incredible story is now complete. We did it in three days, is the, is the thing. Like, we started two days ago, played it for, like, six and a half hours, then did it yesterday for seven hours, and so far we've been going at this one for probably two and a half hours. I, I can't tell by looking at the stream time in this case because of how much of the internet was going down around freaking Brian Cave and whatnot, but... <laughs> At least like two and a half to three hours we have to have been going at this point something like that um, But yeah, when we did it four years ago, we just stopped there and we also did it in like a similarly fast Fast manner of those few days It's crazy for anybody potentially watching these as they come out on YouTube after the fact because this will be over the course of like over a month That all these uploads went up whereas in reality it took place within the span of freaking three days is the thing <laughs> since uh since the first session that's why everyone watching it on youtube should totally follow me on twitch but anyway um <laughs> back with the original playthrough we stopped there that was it we completed the playthrough bada bing bada boom we're not doing that this time this time we're actually continuing with other with other stuff we're actually continuing to play the game isn't that crazy i don't know how much we're gonna do i do want to do like all the post game story at least and all the special episodes I don't know if we'll do like every dungeon like we did during the Rescue Team DX playthrough. Maybe. I'll consider it. Depends on how things work out. I've heard that some of the dungeons in this game get pretty ludicrous, so we'll see. As a result of Harmonia and Klexos' heroic actions, the destruction of time was stopped. And peace returned to the world of Pokemon. Of course, not everything returned to normal right away. Some places remained where time was still out of control. But overall, things were becoming better everywhere. As for Harmonia and Klexos, they returned to Wigglytuff's guild and fell back into their daily routine of vigorous training. One morning, several months later. Pardon? Graduation? That's right. Graduation from the guild. If you graduate, you can leave the guild. You'll be rid of the harsh daily training program too. Of course, that all depends on your passing of the- passing the graduation exam, I can't words. Hey, 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 chat talk. Hey, hey, we've been around a lot longer than those two. Hey, why do Harmonia and Kalexos get to take the graduation exam before we do? They've already proven themselves to be worthy many times over. And after all, Harmonia and Kalexos saved the world. It's only natural that they've earned the right to be tested. And that's how it goes. We will soon conduct the graduation exam. I expect you to be prepared for it. Ladra took the graduation exam last year. And probably failed, hey hey. Get lost! So, what are we supposed to do for this graduation exam? I want you to explore the depths of a wood named Mystifying Forest. You should find a place called Luminous Spring there. Luminous Spring? Yep. It was where Pokemon once went to evolve. But maybe because of the time troubles we had, no sunlight shines on the spring now. Now, nothing can evolve there. We want you to travel to Luminous Spring and return with its treasure. If you can bring that treasure back to the guild, you pass the exam. You will then be recognized as fully trained exploration team and graduate from the guild with full honors. Sure thing, we just have to bring back the treasure. Let's do this, Harmonia. But you have to, wa you have to watch out for one thing. There you'll find a frighteningly strong enemy. The Grand Master of all things bad lives there. The th Grand Master of all things bad? Yep. The Grand Master is terribly wicked. It's a horrifying presence that no one would ever want to meet. So, good luck with that! What? Huh? That will do for the morning briefing. Alright everyone, let's get down to work. Hooray! Heck yeah! What do we do, Harmonia? The Grand Master of all things bad! Oh, Loudred! Loudred, you took the graduation exam last year, right? Can you tell me something? What was the Grand Master of all things bad like? I'm sorry, but I'm not allowed to talk about it. It's a guild rule. I can't talk about it. But I'll tell you this. You're in for a dreadful, terrifying time. 
what I went through. Even now, when I let myself remember it. <sighs> Mounted was useless for getting information. We'll just have to do our best to graduate on our own. Guess we should go down to Treasure Town and get ready. Yeah, let's do that. So yeah, now we're getting into the territory of never before done on this channel. <laughs> Everything up to this point was stuff that we technically had done on the channel once before, but now we're getting into the territory of we've never done this on the channel before. And first things first, I have to go do some misc jobs and fix the freaking storage situation is what I need to do. That I've been waiting to do for the past 3,000 years. Also, yeah, I can go ahead and... Uh, Remod you now, Guzma. This whole time that you've been a uh, non-mod after that freaking timeout that you redeemed. Bada bing, bada boom. Should be remodded, I believe, at least. Um. Whoa, dang it. No, I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, the graduation exam is pretty charming. I can agree with that. Um, Lance, <laughs> your grandmaster of all things bad was your nickname in college. My oh my. Well, um, yeah, you too. The graduation exam will put you through the ringer. Don't be flattened. Man, welcome to Krokong Swap Shop. Want to shop? It'll cost you 150. Yeah. Um, also, I did mention that I wasn't going to use like any form of cheating, like basically at all for like the main game. But once we got into post game, I'd consider it. But the only things that I can see myself like cheating are custom wonder mail. Um, potentially putting heat wave on the collectibles way down the line. I don't think there's any need to right now. Maybe it's if I ever do it, maybe it'd be the kind of thing that we do like after the whole post game story is done and we're just doing other dungeons and uh, save states. I think save states, I think those were the three aspects in which we might potentially cheat. And the thing about with Heat Wave with Klexos is, Vulpix can get Heat Wave legitimately in this game, but it's an egg move, which means that you can get a Heat Wave on a Vulpix, but it has to be a Vulpix that isn't your partner Vulpix, which is so dumb. So if I do eventually cheat on Heat Wave onto Klexos down the line, then that's just me freaking making up for bad game design. If there's an Explorer's DX, then I hope it has a freaking Move Tutor like uh, like Rescue Team DX did, because the Move Tutor and Rescue Team DX was real good. So, you know, I'll, uh, I feel like I should say I reserve the right to potentially cheat on moves if they're like an egg move, something that the Pokemon can learn but just doesn't, because I don't want to take the time to grind a completely new freaking Vulpix slash Ninetales or whatever the heck just for that, just so I can have one that, you know, is slightly better than my partner having this one move. It's so dumb. So... You know, that might happen down the line, but maybe it's the kind of thing that would say that we'd save for after post game. So I, I might not even happen. As I found out within prison, Vulpix is all right. Pretty freaking OP as is best scarf. I have the best scarf, though. Um, and then you can become a cheaty Pete. Is it how how cheaty is it really if you're just making up for bad game design? Um, hello, hello. I can't freaking words today. Uh, my freaking how is it pronounced again? My at Tribot? I don't even remember anymore. You might have to correct me on things. Mystery bot. That's what it freaky is. I remember Guzma told me once, like, that's probably what it means there. But, uh, then I forgot. Hope you're doing well today, Mystery bot. Freaking, why does Porygon Z get the freaking best scarf, huh? Porygon, um, groovy card for Grovile, huh? Well, that needs any two exclusive items. Meh. Meh, I don't know. Um, but yeah, we're doing some Pokemon Mystery Dungeon stuff here. Um, um, I think about it even now. Okay, so I think it's later that you can do, uh, the Sentry Dewey whenever you want. I think it's later that you get the option for that. Um, but yeah, speak Lee, yeah, I, I can't. Do I want to do these freaking Waterfall Cave ones that we didn't do the one time? Just so that I can, like, fix the storage situation already? Are oh, those freaking three Craggy Coast ones for whatever reason? Um, here's another Waterfall Cave one. There's another Craggy Coast one. Reward Blue Gummy. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, well. <laughs> Any other Craggy Coast thing or Bob's? Nope, not here. Okay, let's do Craggy Coast things. How about? Is what we'll do. Find Warp Seed. Okay, got lost while exploring. Oh no! Um, Jibuyao's victims with their cute looks bring this criminal to justice. Stir skit. Those freaking skirt skirt want to go sightseeing. Guide Doduo. Gosh, diggity darn it. Well, time for a time for a guiding thing for Bob. So I guess I'll only be able to take like one teammate here. Um, let's just see here. It looks like old version of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. This is the uh, second game. Well, I guess you can count it as third, but it's like the second entry. There was Blue and Red Rescue Team on the Game Boy Advance slash Nintendo DS. And then there was Explorers that was on the Nintendo DS. And that's what this is. So this is the second game in the series. And then the third game in the series is Gates, and the fourth one is is Super. And then there was Rescue Team DX on the Switch, which was a remake of the first one. Um, so let's see here. I might just bring along like Lin or something like that. I do like having Lin around. I don't mind that, especially considering stuff with like 
you know, our other Pokemon adventures end, Lin. Uh, you talk to yourself in the post-game dungeon, and literally the only spawns you get is- Wait, what? What do you mean you talk to yourself in post-game dungeon? Can't wish it was like Dragon Quest where the hero is only silent when you're controlling them? And there are times that- Oh, so you're saying like if, uh, if the hero's in a different slot and whatnot. Do I have any gummies in my inventory currently? No, I have- <laughs> Let's go, uh, let's go figure out- some uh some of the current inventory situation i'll be able to store some stuff not all of it it'll only be after we do these jobs that uh that i'll be able to uh you know you have a little bit more storage and whatnot no oh, clexus and harmonia hi hi teddy or sanders ring what's happening are you going out somewhere yep and we're going off to mystifying forest now parted mystifying forest but isn't it dangerous there haven't you heard the Grandmaster of all things bad is supposed to be there. Grandmaster of all things bad? I've never heard of anything like that. Look at all this shed hair coming off you just from petting you. <laughs> I saw it just the doogie cam. This is what I'll do. Just it to about there-ish. There we go. Oh, I've never heard of anything like that. Sure you're not making a mistake? We go play in Mystifying Forest often. We've never seen or even heard of a Grand Master. You must have misheard a bad rumor or something. Let's go. Bye. The Treasure Town theme is always so charming and nostalgic and stuff. Something's not right. It sounds completely unlike what Wigglytuff told us. It's not as if we can do anything about it. Let's get ready and go out to Mystifying Forest. Sure. Sure, we can do so. Though the Hero of Explorers games is less silent than most silent heroes because they at least have inner monologues and have a full speech before they aren't alive. Yeah, that's a... <laughs> Certainly one way to put it, huh? I'm not even gonna check the shops this time. Actually, wait, just to see the uh, dialogue. Oh, well, there's nothing, I guess. Um, Open my boxes, bird! Open my boxes, please, thanks. Open it up. Give it a good open stuff. And so it is revealed within the box was a cinder claw that I'm never gonna use. Shiny box, open it up. Give it a good opening. Quaha! So it is revealed within the box was this green gummy. Okay, well, there's that. Um, But yeah, yeah, so there's a... Uh, that is indeed the thing. It's a Pokemon game, and you technically die in it. Isn't that crazy? Um, I can only put three things into storage right now. So, like... Guess I'll, like... Yeah. Yeah. I'll just do the jobs with, like, my inventory still basically full like this. Because once we do these jobs, we'll have more storage. So we're gonna ignore the graduation exam for now for a hot second. Because we need to go do some freaking jobs, get to gold rank, and then not have to worry about storage for a while, I hope. Because this freaking storage situation has had me at wit's end. But yeah, so like, I think the main character seems to like right in a way what would be like a silent protagonist and whatnot. And that kind of way. All right, please be a good shake there. Actually, wait, aren't there a bunch of freaking gummies in storage that I can use? Whatever, I'll, it'll be a lot easier to manage our inventory after uh, after we do things here, me thinks. But yeah, wait till you graduate the guild, your inventory should increase a ton, but it'll also do it when I do these jobs anyway. So I'd rather, you know, get a bit more inventory right now, and then we can like sort out our inventory properly before doing the guild graduation, you know? Because, uh, you know, Right now, I'm just, my inventory's in like a hella weird state right now. It's kind of the thing. All right, so let's see here. So I had four of those, right? Yeah. So five, seven, eight, until, and wherever Dodo wants to go, I guess. All right, yeah, let's just bum rush this mission. And finally, we'll be able to, uh, <laughs> we'll finally be able to freaking have a bit more inventory space. Because this storage space currently is absolutely ludicrous, quite frankly. It is absolutely absurd. Well, it looks like we're freaking speedrunning Craggy Coast, so that's pretty nice. Whoa! Didn't quite mean to go down to this corner, but... Works, I suppose. Works, I suppose. See you later, Krabby. Yeah, we should just be able to annihilate everything here now. Should be the case. How about you don't? How about you maybe don't? Krabby wants to join your team! Argh, Mr. Squidward! <laughs> nickname the new member? Why do we nickname Krabby? So yeah, now that we've beaten the game, we can actually recruit people again and whatnot. Isn't that crazy? Um, cookie, oh, for the freaking sounds it makes in the anime. That thing. Fine, I'm gonna I'm a name it freaking Cookie. This is what I'll do, I suppose. Well, <laughs> there we go. There we go, there's our, there's our Krabby. All right, go back to the guild there, Cookie. <laughs> my, oh my, well. 
Wow. Oh, no, I can't get the freaking box. Whatever. Guess we're just never getting that box, I suppose. Guess that's just never happening. I'll take that. Thank you. All right. Let's make sure I don't miss any objectives here. You reach a destination floor. Oh, wow. And this is a big room with like a bunch of items and stuff. Uh oh. No. <sighs> I got real fear there. I'll just wait it a little bit so that Doduo's of fear would run out. That's what I did for a hot second. I was doing the next level strats and stuff. All right, I guess I'll go get the items now and stuff. This is what I can do. But yeah, let's see here. Your yeah, other option was Eugene, but you want to save that name for a Cyndaquil? Is Eugene a reference to something? Oh, sweet, more gummies. Awesome. Very nice. More gummies. Awesome. I need those for science. I'm sure once I start going crazy with Wonder Mail, I could see myself getting a lot of those Wonder Gummies, I think they're called. Potentially. I could see myself- wait. Okay, I found the- uh, I found the warp seed. I was like, wait, I didn't miss something on that floor, did I? Like a floor six one. Um, and the warp seed was a floor five one. Did I really? Is my memory giving out? I actually don't remember getting that and then getting like the prompt, like you completed a mission, would you like to leave now? For whatever reason, that's just like not in my memory. Am I losing it? Yeah, it's this theme. You heard this theme got a remaster in Gates to Infinity, but it turned out to be an unused track in the game. Huh. Interesting. Well, Lin's just uh, sniping them all. It seems like. Alrighty. Well, in the context of Krabby, it's a SpongeBob joke, and the. Oh, yeah, I guess Eugene Krabs there. Context of Cyndaquil, it's a reference to Landwell Chronicles. Something I'm not at all familiar with, I'm sorry to say. Not familiar with that. Don't know what video that could be, but uh. All right, so this is a destination floor. I need to not forget that this is a destination floor. I forgot that that was still enabled from the freaking final boss. I still can't believe we one shot the final boss. I mean, technically it was a two shot because I had to use quick attack just to have it have Primal Dialga not be stunned anymore, unfortunately. So technically speaking, you could say that I didn't actually one shot the final boss. You could say that I two shotted. Should we just do a, what's that freaking Seagull's name in Animal Crossing. Uh, I had it in my head a second ago and I completely forgot it. But yeah, um, the Craig Coast version of Gates was gonna be used for DLC. Huh. I, Pringles isn't its name, is, isn't his name, is it? I could have sworn it was something else. Wasn't it Gulliver? No, was it? I don't even remember. So Gates to Affinity was planned to have DLC? I thought, I thought it was Gulliver actually, now that I think about it, right? I'm fairly certain that freaking Animal Crossing seagull. Look at the video is the Craig Coast Remaster from Gates to Infinity. Ah, gotcha, gotcha. Something I may have to check out another time. I may just do uh, this for now. That's spelled with two L's, right? Sure, let's do this, I suppose. Bada bing, bada boom. Sure. Love our joint team and harmonic to go on adventures. Um, get on out of here. I think it is, I don't even know. I'm fairly certain it's not Pringles. Pringles is the dude's name. It's just a different suggestion, gotcha. Ah, uh, makes more. Makes more sense there, but this is still a destination floor. I would have almost taken those stairs, quite frankly. Um, aha! Another Starly. No, not Grunt B. My goodness. It's too late for it. It is too late now. No, I don't want to leave the dungeon now. I want to continue exploring. Yeah, thank goodness the game from this point doesn't, like, force you into the post-game stuff. You can do it, like, your own pace. I think it might force you into it for, like, the finale stuff towards the end of post-game. I don't remember. I don't remember, but... Craggy Coast. Um, what outlaw spotted? Oh no! Uh oh, the freaking Doduo probably shouldn't be there. Warps enemy to the stairway. <laughs> um, just be safe then. I'll do this in that a case. Yeah, we get another sand shrew. I can name it that. That's what we can do. There we go. Disaster averted. Oh, cool. Everything worked out. Knocked out, outlaw Surskit. Sweet. Yeah, I'd love to continue exploring. Whoops, I didn't quite mean to do that, but whatever. But whatever, I suppose. Um, yoink. I will take that, thank you. All right, so we completed the thing we're Bob for this floor. Rude. Very, very rude. I'll get smack rude, I suppose. Please don't what for sand shrew? Um, then they'd be the same species, I guess. I might not, like, I might stop doubling up on species, though. 
Like, I don't know if I'd ever, you know, try to recruit every Pokemon in this game per se, but I have heard that, like, if you do get, like, every Pokemon in every form, then there's only, like, an extra spare room for 27 others, which isn't a massive ton. So, like, if I already have a species, I might stop getting that, unless it's something that I can evolve or something like that. Um, if it's something that I can't evolve or I already have the evolution and I already have the, uh, the species, then I might just, uh, I might just not. Oh, that was all four. Oh, gosh, darn it. Well, darn it. Darn it. You have, you've recruited every Pokemon in the game, including Kecleon? You got Kecleon. You got every single one. Every form and stuff. I say, Dougie. Oh, your first ever run of Explorers this guy, really? That is certainly a feat there. Hey. Like, we could always, you know, evolve one, I guess, or something. So I can, like, double up for now, I suppose. But yeah. Want me to name this one Grunt B? Because <laughs> I... I'll, just to freaking satisfy Guzma here, I guess. This is what I'll do. Fine. Well... <laughs> Neat. And a level up. Oh yeah, and that filled our freaking team slot. Because that team slot was open. Because Dodua wasn't around. Okay, there we go. Um, I ever got me a warp seat! Oh, I'm not gonna lie on my blue gummy! <laughs> oh no! Ah! <laughs> Oh man, don't worry, it'll be fixed like soon. It'll be fixed here soon, I guess. Let's try to random roll call orb, I guess. Or something. Blue gummy. Heck yeah. Sweet. Thank you for rescuing me. Show my thanks. I want you to have my toxic. <sighs> Hopefully we don't have to go through this again of, you know, your storage space is full. I don't know why I can't just go into like my inventory then. Or something like that. Just freaking trash Geo at level 15. Um <laughs> no problemo there. Congratulations, Team Anormotic went up in the rank from the silver rank to the gold rank. No, I was like, we kept in storage, but increased from 200 to 320. Thank you. Jeez, one Gensing was put in storage. Jeez, finally. Finally. We finally brought Skirt Skirt in for a rest. Skirt Skirt has a, has a freaking catchphrase. I have two watches, local time and Tokyo time, so I know when to drift. Skirt Skirt. Thank goodness gracious. We have more storage now. Thank goodness for that. Thanks for the reflect. So I can finally go like manage my inventory properly. When was the last time I was able to manage my inventory properly? <laughs> no problemo there. <laughs> oh man. Tired doogie. We should get some sleep too. Let's make tomorrow another good day, Harmonia. Yes, 